Hello dear viewers, welcome back to the Odoo 18 Functional Tutorials by Tech Ultra Solutions. In today's video, we will delve into an exciting concept in the manufacturing module which is the mass production schedule. MPS in Odoo 18 has been significantly improved to enhance production planning and scheduling the efficiency. It is a key feature in the manufacturing module that helps businesses forecast the demand, plan production and manage the resources effectively. It is a long-term planning tool, also helpful for dealing with the seasonal products. MPS can help us plan our manufacturing, taking production capacity and lead times into account. Let's list out some benefits of the mass production schedule. First one is the it improves the production efficiency. Second one is the reduces stockouts and overproduction. And the last is the enhances the decision making. So stay tuned as we are going to explore the step-by-step -step process of implementing the mass production in O218 and see how this powerful feature can revolutionize your manufacturing workflow. So let's get started. Now the very first step in the mass production schedule is to enable the feature. For that, you need to open the manufacturing module from your database and here in the configuration settings, you need to make sure that this, this master production schedule is enabled in the planning section. Next up, we'll create a product. For that, go to the products menu and here in the products, we'll just create a new product. So I'm just creating this lamp as my main product and uh, I'm just saving it. Next up, we need to create a bill of material for this product. So I'm just clicking on this bill of material, creating new one so adding the components for this particular product the component would be lamp shade and the light bulb once done simply save it now the next step is to we need to set the routes for the product and its components so i'll just quickly move to my main product and you're in the master data here we have an inventory tab so click on that and here we need to set the MTO and manufacturer routes for this particular main product next up for our components the first component I'm just adding the routes for the buy and MTO so a purchase order will get triggered means this component we are going to buy from our vendor so for that we need to assign a vendor also so you're in the purchase tab we need to add a vendor so i'm just adding anita as in my vendor for this component next up in our bill of material we have our next component so for this we are going to manufacture this in-house only so go to the internal link and here in the inventory tab we will uh, enable the mto and the manufacturer route so the manufacturing order will get triggered so simply save it so now we have just created our main product and we have also created the bill of material for that product so we'll just move to the planning section and here is our master production schedule so open it here we need to add a product so we'll just add our desk lamp you're in the bill of material add the desk lamp and you just need to simply save it so this is the master production schedule dashboard where we are going to plan the master production so here we can see the forecasted demand which is the estimated future demand of a product then is the suggested replenishment which tells us how much of a product we should order to keep up with the demand then we have last in the forecast is stock which tells us how much inventory we should keep up with the demand as well now we have more options here in the drop down in the rows we have these many options so the very first thing is the actual demand now actual demand is based on the confirmed sales order now if we want to have a look for the last year actual demand so we can simply select the actual demand y1 so here you can see a new row will be generated showing the actual demand for the last year then if we have the actual replenishment which shows the replenish values based on the confirmed RFQs and also the manufacturing orders.
and at the last we have the available to promise which is the quantity of product that we can sell at the end of the period. So let's start by adding the forecast demand as the MPS is based on the actual and forecast demand and we can see now we are just going to add the quantity for the main product so here I am just adding 1000 as the quantity so here you will just see that uh, the quantities for the bomb are also added automatically because uh, 1 on 1 ratio is there for our main product and for the bomb simply uh, we can add the uh, quantities to manufacture for the rest of the months here i'm just adding 900 so once done we can just simply click on this order which is the replenish so click on that so here you can see the quantity so you can simply click on this and here you can see a one manufacturing order having the thousand as the unit so you will just open it and here is the manufacturing order as we have said the MTO routes for this main product and here you can find a child MO and a purchase mat button for our two components lampshade and light bulb as we have added the routes so we'll just open our purchase and here you can see RFQ is triggered as we have added the buy and the MTO routes. So here we can just add the unit price for it and we can just simply confirm it. So the purchase order is created and here we just need to receive our product so that we can manufacture our main product. So simply validate this receipt and the component is in in our inventory. Here you can see a WH stock. We have received our component. So we'll move back to our manufacturing main manufacturing order and here you can find a smart button for the child MO. So open that. And here you can see we need to manufacture these uh, light bulbs as in thousand in the quantity. So we'll just confirm it. And we will produce all. Once done, we'll move back to our main MO. Here you can find the transfers in the manufacturing order, which is our receipt for the lampshade wire component. Here we'll just produce all. So here you can see we have produced the thousand quantities for the desk lamp through the master production schedule. And once the manufacturing order is completed, our main product is produced. So here we have the overview for the whole manufacturing order. So simply click on that. And here you can find the desk lamp having thousand quantities, the unit cost for it, the lamp shade and the light bulb. So here you can find a uh, PO which is for the lampshade and here is the manufacturing order for the light bulb. So these are the quantities here you can add the cost and here you will then find the unit cost and the total cost of the components and the cost of component per unit. So in this way the master production schedule in Odoo 18 is an efficient tool for planning and managing the manufacturing processes. It helps businesses focus demand, schedule the production activities and ensure the optimal inventory levels. I hope this video was helpful to you. Stay tuned for our next videos. Thank you.